What's up world, I'm Mr. Vaca and today we are gonna take a look at the Parents Guide for Google Classroom here in 2020. So what is Google Classroom? Think of Google Classroom as your child's digital link for learning. This is going to be utilized a lot. Now with the distance learning that many schools across the nation are going to require since school will be closed anywhere from a week to a month and a half. Teachers can use Google Classroom to share assignments, homework, newsletters, and much, much more. Let's get started. Now your child was provided with a secure login and password that's unique specifically to them. Check with your child or your teacher to obtain this private information, or you could even ask your teacher to add you as a parent via email. Next step, you want to go on the internet. You can use the Google Chrome browser, or if you have Safari, Firefox, Edge, you can use any of those, and you want to go to google.com. Now you want to go click the sign in button located in the top right corner. You're then going to enter your child's email address and password provided by the school. Now you can see that your child has been signed in the top right corner into their Google account. Now you can see all the different apps that Google has for education by clicking on the three by three blocks. I also like to call it the waffle iron. And when you click that, you'll see a drop down window filled with different apps. Here are the Google icons that you need to recognize. Chrome, which is the internet browser. Docs, which is like Microsoft Word to write up a document. Drive is the cloud where you store all of your different information, projects, videos. You can save everything on the Google Drive. Slides is like PowerPoint. Sheets is like Excel. Forms is like SurveyMonkey. Your calendar, which I use all the time. Gmail, super important. Photos, Maps, Google Keep is a note-taking app. Google Classroom, which we're talking about today, very important. Google Meet and Google Hangouts have now kind of combined together where they are a video conferencing platform. Google Sites is to build your own website, your contacts, the cloud, again, same thing as a drive, and the rest of the stuff you don't have to really worry about. Now, to navigate the classroom, when you click on that waffle iron, you want to then click on that Google Classroom icon. Then you will see your classes. Now, if you're a high school student, you will have different, multiple classes here. But if you're an elementary student, you might just have your one classroom, say for Mrs. Smith. Now, let's look at what the page says. Over here, we have the tools, such as the menu of classes, the current classroom, your announcements page, your assignments, the waffle button, the app directory, your account, your upcoming assignments, and the updates from your teacher. If you click on the assignments tab, you'll see all these different details that your teacher could use down the road, such as your classwork tab, your grades, the due dates. You can view the files that you've added, the different topics that are available, the headlines, the assi assignment titles, the due dates for those assignments, the status, whether it's turned in, missing, and the attached files and links also to view the assignment. You just click that one button here, number 11, you can see it and you can see the assignment right there. Now you can access this Google Classroom anywhere that you have internet service, whether it's on your cell phone, a tablet, or even a computer. This was a short, quick, basic tutorial video for parents to give you the overall gist of what Google Classroom is, how to log in, and what you can use it for. But if you have any questions, I want to be here to help you out. So feel free to leave a comment down in the comments box down below on what questions you have or things that you'd like me to cover in future videos. Thank you guys again for watching. Don't forget to work hard, play hard, and I'll catch you up next time.